We'll begin the news at 10 tonight with a meeting of the Council of State, which had former President Goodluck Jonathan and two heads of state, Generals Abdusalami Abubakar and Yakubu Gawan, attending in person. Former President Olusha Gumabasanjo opted to participate virtually. As expected, two issues were front and center, the Naira policy and the general election, which is two weeks away. Also at this meeting were Vice President Yemi Osimbajo, State Governors, the Governor of the Central Bank, as well as the Chairman of INEC. State House Correspondent Femi Akode reports. It is not surprising that the Council of States spent more time discussing the CBN's policy of the Naira redesign and the deadline for the cash swap. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria was invited to the meeting to brief the Council on how he intends to turn the tides and ease the hardship inflicted by a policy he holds tightly and has refused to shift grounds. Outside the walls of this Council chamber, on the streets, there is the outcry of people groaning under the impact of a monetary policy that has removed cash from their pockets, practically killing their purchasing power and leaving them without a better alternative. The Council of States backs the policy to redesign the new Naira nodes, but is not impressed with the style of implementation and the scarcity of the currency. A resolution was taken on the policy and the Apex Bank was asked to ensure a good circulation of Naira nodes. The policy stands, but then the Council agreed that there is need for aggressive action on the part of the central bank as it relates to ensuring, sorry, as it relates to the implementation of the policy by way of ensuring adequate provision being made with particular regard to the supply of the Naira in the system. The CBN governor should look into making sure that money is available, the new money is available in quantum and that they've given the country um, assurance that everything that needs to be done to have the election at the set date are on track. The Council of States only play an advisory role to Mr. President and the executive on policy making. But everyone hopes this time Godwin Emefiele will value the advice of the Council and inject more cash into circulation, which will most likely calm the anger. The box still stops on the table of President Muhammad Buhari to point the country in the right direction. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. And Femi joins me live now from Abuja. Femi, it's been a busy day. The word from this meeting is simple. Print more or allow the old notes to remain in circulation. What exactly should we infer from this? Yes, uh, Nifemi, one thing is clear, uh, the implementation of this uh, cash uh, withdrawal, cash swap deadline has been faulty. Uh, the CBN has not been able to print enough currency and inject it into circulation. Well, they have succeeded in mopping up the old currency. More than two trillion naira of the old currency has been mopped up, but they have not been able to print sufficient uh, new notes to circulate and give Nigerians purchasing power, and that has been a major problem. And that is one of the things that the, the governor of the Central Bank told them at the Council of State meeting today. We heard from unofficial sources that the governor complained about the capacity of the security agency to print new uh, 500 and 1,000 uh, the first time that these now, um, foreign uh, minting and printing agencies have been contracted to print uh, Nigeria's currency. But when this policy was to be introduced, one of the things that got President Mohamed Bore excited was the fact that the new currency with the country is a safe cost for the country. A whole lot of money, billions of naira, will be saved by printing it in Nigeria. President Mohamed Buhari was excited about this and gave his nod to the governor of the central bank. But, well, along the line, it appears as if the uh, capacity of the security I maintain
We probably will get back to Femi Akonde, uh, a sit house correspondent who's joined us live from Abuja for more updates as to the National Council of State meeting earlier today. Femi, if you are back, um, let's just quickly look at um, perhaps what the reaction coming from the federal government. The federal government says it will adhere to the decision of the highest court. But as you are aware, the Attorney General of the Federation is also taking a bashing for filing a motion asking the Supreme Court to vacate the order. Where are we with this? Well, the federal government understands that it's subjudice to talk about uh, the case that is before the Supreme Court. The federal government was dragged to the, to the Supreme Court by um, three state governors. That's the Kogi state governor, uh, Zamfara state governor, and uh, I, 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 I don't know if the governor of um, Kaduna, the government of Kaduna state. So we're also hearing that the government of Mundo state have asked to be joined in that uh, same suit. A uh, governor of, uh, of, of Kano state have also sued the federal government, dragged the federal government to the Supreme Court. But what the federal government is saying is that, well, for now, the Supreme Court have asked for the deadline to be suspended pending the hearing of that case. And the federal government and indeed the Central Bank of Nigeria will have to adhere to the uh, ruling of the Apex Court to suspend, temporarily suspend that deadline until uh, the case is, is heard. So what the Nigerians want at this time and what the uh, Council of State is saying is for more currency to be put into circulation so that Nigerians will have money in their pocket. A lot of um, the uh, a large is informal. And as we speak, a lot of that has vastly affected people, traders in the market do not have money for uh, to trade. Uh, children going to school, like the vice president said, do not, parents do not have money to give their children uh, to take to school. The vulnerable do not have money to buy drugs and all of that. So what they need right now is for currency to be widely circulated. Indeed. The CBN, if they cannot print new currency, uh, then the old currency that they have mopped up should be injected uh, back into the system. And for now, status quo should uh, be maintained. If I mean. Febby, it's two weeks to the election. Uh, what's likely to happen if the issues are not resolved? Well, ILEC has raised concerns about um, the conduct of the election. They say they would also need cash beyond the electronic transfer. Most of the people that uh, provide logistic service and some of the vendors are paid by hand, and that is in cash. And they approach the see Central Bank of Nigeria to see how uh, all of these can uh, be resolved. But you know, the CBN governor so far has been defiant. He has refused to shift ground. But what, one thing he assured INEC is that any amount of cash INEC needs, he said INEC has been responsible in the past and he knows INEC will still remain responsible. So no matter what needs to uh, pay the, the, the vendors and all other uh, logistics staff who would provide uh, different kinds of services on election day, the Central Bank of Nigeria will provide the money I let and needs for that. Well, uh, he just gave that assurance. That has never happened before. We do not know uh, how that will work out in this election. You know, there will be a lot of um, challenges, logistics and all of that. It's going to be the first time that the CBN will be working in that capacity of providing cash for INEC on election day. And, you know, this is the biggest uh, general election in Nigeria's democratic history Absolutely. with the highest number of registered voters, more than uh, 93 million registered voters. So it's not clear if indeed the Central Bank of Nigeria understands uh, the importance of this uh, general election and also, no, uh, also uh, can also explain if indeed it has the capacity to provide indeed, Femi, the bulk of cash. We're looking forward to seeing how election. much... Um impact the resolution from this meeting will have on the experience of Nigerians in the coming days. State House correspondent Femi Akonde live for us in Abuja.